Okay, so we've had a go at the 10 yard target, hitting the ball on the ground, and hopefully now you've started to develop a bit of a technique that's allowing you to do that. Maybe there's been a little positional change to how you hold and how you position yourself. And maybe even a sense of how you're moving the hammer back and forward, maybe different than how you actually use a golf club. Hopefully, well maybe hopefully not. Um, we're going to move on though if we can, to actually increase the power. Um, all golf shots are obviously not played at 10 yards. And we're going to have to learn to hit this thing harder and further if we can. So I've moved the target pole about 30 odd yards away. A little bit of a bigger target pole. Again, you can just use a brolier or, or something else if you like. And we are now going to literally apply more force. Now, there's a lot of confusion in the game about how we create power and how we hit things further and harder. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure if, if we were looking at it from a, a hammer and nail perspective, no one would be giving much instruction on how to actually hit the nail harder. It would be enough to tell someone to hit the nail harder. And in a way, I want you to apply that process to the game. If you want to deliver more force, swing this thing harder, hit that ball further. Keep it really that simple just now and see if we can let our body and our brain work out the problem. Now, one thing I would say about this task is it's a horizontal delivery. The pole's on the ground, the hammer's being delivered horizontally to hit the ball straight along the ground. Now that does apply to certain golf shots, certain golf clubs, and they would tend to be the longer clubs, the driver, the fairy woods, perhaps even the long irons. So this definitely has its place, and certainly when we look at power, it certainly has its place. So the task remains the same, albeit the target pole has moved further. So no more than that. I'd like you to now spend another half hour doing 20 or 30 practice shots, exploring the hold and the swing and the delivery, and see if we can get closer to hitting the target pole with our hammer. Let's have a go and see what happens. Again, I'm putting the hammer down behind the ball, relating it to the, the target pole, taking a hold and a stance, the position that I believe will allow me to do it, and then I'm going to hit it a little bit harder. Okay, good luck with that one.